Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this caramel apple using watercolor. It's simple and easy and you practice how to layer colors and I'll walk you through step by step how I complete this painting. Now if you're ready, grab your pens and paper and let's start painting! As always, I start with my sketch. I draw out the oval shape and mark out the reflections on the caramel so I know where to avoid while coloring. Before painting, I like to mix colors in advance so it's ready to use while coloring. And I also test it out on another piece of paper before painting to avoid putting on any wrong colors. Then I put a base layer on the caramel. Try to keep the base layer lighter so we can work on details and layers later. As you can see here, I avoid the reflections while adding the base layer. While the base layer is still wet, quickly add the darker shades so the color blends out nicely. And make sure your brush doesn't contain too much water when adding darker shades so it won't create water stains after drying. I like to keep a napkin handy so I can quickly dab it when there's too much water. Now the base layer is about done, I start adding a second layer. In this layer, the color mixture should be stronger and richer than the base layer. Add on colors continuously while the paper is still wet. And here I also add the details around the button areas. After that, I start painting the third layer. In this layer, basically try to get the actual caramel color. As you can see here, it's more saturated than the second layer. Finally, the last layer, I strengthen the colors and the shadows so it pops out more. And this is why layers and details are so important, so we can get the 3D look. Now the caramel is about done, then I start painting the apple part. Same as before, I first put on a base layer. Then for the brighter area, I simply dilute it with clean water. While the base layer is still wet, quickly add the darker shades so we can get the nice color blend.
For the refraction areas, because it's a small area, you can dry your brush and wipe out the colors as you can see here. For the stick, after adding a base layer, I rotate the paper to add darker shades so it's easier for coloring. Then just simply add the line details on the stick. Lastly, I use the color pencil to draw out the small white reflections on the camel. Before I finish painting, I like to go back to see if there's any details missing or any areas that need to be strengthened again. Now that painting is well done here, comment below and let me know if you have any questions. That's all for today's video. I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!